So it's the idea that um, you can't get things now and you might be, you might have to sacrifice things, but that will achieve a better long-term reward. And I think the thing with our society now is that we're so used to getting everything instantly, like social media, um, we can track everything. So I think like the problem is that a lot of young people and including myself as well, we feel like if things don't happen fast, we get a bit worried and anxious. And mm. I think there definitely is validity in that. But I think if you maintain perspective and look at things in the big picture, and I think if you just focus on being consistent, I think that will always give like longer term rewards. And I think that's something we need to adopt, like having a growth mindset and um, yeah, having a growth mindset and just looking more in the medium and long term and mm things don't have to happen straight away. Um, yeah. And I think, I think like the other thing is as well is, I think it's so important to take care of your mental health, especially now in a time like COVID. Um, I think there's like a lot of issues, I think in the industry in terms of burnout, like, and people working too hard and yeah. people just feeling lonely. So I think like, why, why I, like I'm all for working hard and giving your best shot, but I think like, it's so important you like, you take care of your mental health and put things into perspective. like if I fail now, it's not the end of the world. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to find, I'm going to find a way. Maybe, maybe you might need to plan things better. Maybe you need to talk to someone more, but I think like your mental health is of the utmost importance. So I think one thing I would do is, as I mentioned before, Sid, practice gratitude. That's so important. Um, or even, even just telling someone you're grateful for them. And the other thing I do as well is I do a bit of mindfulness in the morning. I think yeah. that really helps calm my mind and gets me focused for the day. So yeah, I think those are some of the advice I give to students or young people.